The top value query shows only the top number or percentage of items, like you want to take the top five of maybe our book sales. Sound good? All right. Let me go ahead and right click on it and go to the design view because if I double click on it, it won't pull up because I don't have any of the fields from the tables up above in the grid below, so it could show something in the data sheet view. So let's go ahead and add the fields like the customer name, double click, and also the number of books sold, double click. And then we can go ahead and click on the view button, and we got the customer name and the total number of books sold. Now I got star temps listed three times. Why is that? Well, they could make purchases on the different transaction dates, or it could be on the same date, but maybe at different times. So let's go ahead and go back to the design view and add the order ID and the transaction date, sales date. Click on the view button, and let's take a look at star temps again. So they purchased books here. Here's the different order IDs, but we got two of them where they purchased books on the same date, probably just at different times. So two different orders, two different order IDs. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and group all the customer names together, like star temps, and get the total that we sold to star temps. I don't want to do it in my head, like 33 plus 22 plus 1, uh, 56. Oh, I did it in my head. Well, I don't want to do it for the rest. In any case, let's go ahead and right click, go back to the design view, and as you recall in an earlier training video where you want to group, in this case, all the customers together and just get the total sold to the customers, the grand total, well, you come up here on the design tab to the show hide group and click on totals. So I want to group by the customer name, but I don't want to group it by the order ID, so let me go ahead and hover over the gray bar up at the top so I can see a black arrow pointing down, click on it, select the entire column, delete it, and then let's get rid of sales date, click on that, delete it, and then for the book sold, we don't want it grouped, we want to get the total sold. So change it from group by and say that don't group it by this field, just give us the total after it groups it by the customer name. So let's go ahead and come up here, click on the view button, and there we go, big news network, the total sold is 40. And then star temps was 56, right? Oh, there we go. That's nice. Okay, now to get our top value query, or like the top five, let's go ahead and go back to the design view and come up here on the design tab to the query setup group. And it's right there. It says all. But when you hover over it, it says it's top values. Go ahead and click on the drop down arrow. And it's limited, but you can get the top five or top 25 or 100 or do it by percentage. Let's do the top five. Select that and come back and click on view and there's the top five. Uh, wait a second. I thought I saw a number in there in the 900s. Well, let's go ahead and go back and select all and then click on view. Now that we can see all, there it is, Roadsters 935. How come that wasn't in my top five? Well, the reason why, let's go back to our design view, is that after we go ahead and we select that we want the top five, we need to come down below to that field, the book sold, and just below that in the sort field and click on the drop down arrow and say we want it descending. So remember when it's descending, as far as numbers go, it goes from the largest number to the smallest. Now when it does that, we want to take the top five of those large numbers. Make sense? Well, let's go ahead and try it. Come up here, click on the view button. Hey, there we go, Roadsters, 935, and then it goes descending but just takes the top five of the descending numbers. As opposed to, well, click on the view button, going ascending, smallest to largest, the top smallest, books sold to these customers, or book sales, click on the view button, and oh, little mermaid cleaners, that's horrifying. We gotta go ahead and start marketing to them. It starts going up ascending. And of course, to go back to the way it was, let me come down below, click on the design button there, and just, change it back to all that works and if you also want to get rid of the total well deselect that if you don't want it ascending there well you can delete that click on the view button and we're back to basically where we started with it ungrouped and not adding the total for our customer star temps thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.